John Wano here, it's uh, Friday the 25th of November 2016. I'm just updating uh, our, our meeting coming up, uh, up in uh, Furunaki at uh, Mo Mo Moira Marae, Moria Marae in Furunaki. Um, so there I will present a plan for the uh, 6th of February 2017. Uh, native court hearing. Um, it's involving the um, Whakameninga and this flag of Admiralty jurisdiction that we're using for our claim to the Queen Victoria Trust. That's all that gold sitting in Philippines, Switzerland, Supposed to have been in Fort Knox in New York. Now I think that's gone to the Philippines. And they're hiding it there. The Queen is hiding it there. And we're going to root it out. And put it back into Westminster Parliament. And also into the um, King's Bench Court there. In the Royal Building in Petter Lane. <clears throat> and to the court from the court here in the Waitangi Marae King's Bench Native Court hearing on Waitangi Day. So I'm putting all that plan together with a outline of our court hearing and how the <coughs> jury of 6 to 10 taumata or chosen taumata with the native surnames to match the documents going to Westminster and two judges I can name those two judges Bunny Wawatai and um, Manahi Tengairi those are the two judges I have selected so there's myself as Sheriff King William the Fourth surrogate the same as the captain on a ship this is our ship of Admiralty and also uh, we have um, Jamie Anna Marie Patrick Stewart. Well, her Patrick name is the St. Patrick's Order in Dublin on this flag, and also my own Cosgrove Irish surname in our family, married into the Wanoa Moai people in the Rapanui to Mokonui Urupa on our Marangaro landmark. Okay, so that's me and Jamie claiming this eight-point star of St. Patrick's Church Order Dublin at the time of King William III, ousted King James, Catholic, and put the eight-point St. Patrick's Order into Westminster. So I'm going there with the Whakameninga delegation of chiefs of the tribes of this country, Aotea New Zealand, as it was on the 20th of March 1834, Captain Clendon hopped off his ship of Admiralty under King William IV HMS Fortitude and proclaimed the land belongs to the King of England, King William IV. And so we are going into the Waitangi Marae King Bench Court and I complain, uh, proclaim the land belongs to the chiefs and not to the king or the queen. So that we take that to Westminster and put the records straight. And we are nominating and petitioning King Ernest Augustus V into Westminster at that meeting. We're making proclamations to add him as our partner, our legal, legitimate, monarchy, sovereign partner in Britain, UK, Westminster Parliament. Okay, the Queen, as far as we're concerned, I'm replacing her as the head trust of the Queen Victoria Trust and sacking her and Prince Andrew, uh, trustee, 
and the King and Queen of Spain trustees. Now, the King and Queen of Spain abdicated to their son, King Philip of Spain. He's not Irish, and he's wearing four eight-point star badges on his coat. He's not in the bloodlines as much as we are Irish, Jamie and I, and Jamie has this Patrick surname to the Ngātai surname, native, those two names, to claim the St. Patrick's Order in our private contract of Admiralty, under this Admiralty flag, straight to King William IV, 1834. Captain Clendon. With that, Captain George, uh, George, George, George Lambert, <coughs> on his HMS ship um, alligator, blew off 20 gun salute, 21 gun salute for that day, the 20th of March, 1834, on that title, and that negates the need for the New South Wales government and New Zealand government's 1993 Te Tiro Whenua Act does not apply, although it's a contract to Westminster <coughs> and the Maoris, that's a Maori contract inside Te Te Marae uh, as their right to claim against John Key and his government using the same Te Tiro Whenua Act that they've corrupted and Frauded, defrauded. This flag overrides all of that contract with a direct line to Westminster. Okay, under the Maui Hapu Sovereign Chiefs Whakamininga Flag Sovereign Authority of their own straight into Westminster and the new King of or the existing legitimate King of Britain, UK and Hanover and Altair New Zealand Pacific Islands and the New World Order, eight point star, King Ernest Augustus the Fifth and his son, Prince Regent Ernest Augustus. He's thirty eight and his father is sixty eight. There. So that's our oath of office, straight into Westminster. On these documents I'm putting together now, with an outline plan of the court setting in the Waitangi Marae, King's Bench Court with the ship of Admiralty and our flag on it, standing next door to the courthouse. On the flag mast, you see, is the British ship. It's our property, not John Key's. It's our property title with this flag going to the top and remain there forevermore extant under Westminster government, dual government with Maui Crown. King William IV, Federal State, Commonwealth, Government of the World. Okay, you got that? That's how it's going to hand out to the British. Oh, there's Jamie there, just turned up. She's reading what I've just put. And so she takes her place as a Irish family Patrick's under this eight-point star taken off King Philippi in Spain. That's not our bloodline of King William the Fourth and his father King George the Third and his brother King George the Fourth and the other brother King William the Fourth. There, yeah. King Ernest Augustus the Fourth, uh, King Ernest Augustus the First, King George the Fourth, King William the Fourth are three brothers and their father King George the Third. There, yeah. that's our legacy, that's our jurisdiction of Admiralty, straight to Westminster with the Whakamininga 1834 part of this flag. It's got two parts to it. It's got the Confederation of Chiefs, 1835 Declaration of Independence Day, gazetted in Australia, New South Wales Government, and then it's got a direct line into Britain in the Waitangi Marae, King's Bench Court, straight to England, under the 1834 Clendon title, British title. There. That's that. The Titi Marae is the New South Wales government, monarchy, sovereign, Queen, Elizabeth, Queen Victoria, 
and the 1834 is King William IV. Overrides all that on. Okay? So I'm going to read some of it to this. I just put it on Facebook just now. And I think Jamie can have a good look at it. You can see her name there as um, part of the claim we are putting into Westminster uh, for our meeting um, up in uh, Moria Marae in Furinaki, uh, Hokianga, um, up from Otawa Marae uh, towards uh, Obanoni. Okay, So if you go in that way, you go to Kokoa and head off out towards Obanoni that way. So um, we're, we're saying this, that that's the first hui of this presentation and then Matatua Marae in Whakatane uh, sometime in December. Okay, after the third, this one's on the third of uh, December, this hui here. Uh, what I'm just writing now, minus the plan of the marae, I'll put, I'll put it on Facebook so you can see the outlay. When John P steps into the court, then we're face to face with him in that marae on King Itaurua's land. Okay. So the other ones that was there was King Itaurua, the, the oldest person on his feet, the uh, chief. Um, and also um, one other uh, with him, that he's the recipient of the Queen Victoria Trust under the Queen Victoria and King Edward line, bloodlines. That's his part, and ours being King William. Okay, just to define, he's in the Confederation of Chiefs side on the Titi Marae, and we're on the, the people I pick are on the coming our side straight to Britain with the original surnames. They must be original. My Wainoa is original. <coughs> and and so on. And Jamie's there with me. She goes to Britain with me as her Patrick claim from the native contract. There's a private contract that I'm talking about. Okay, we'll go into this document. I'll put there, it's quite long. And it reads, I'm just going to read some of it. Maui Crown King William for trust in Waitangi Marae King's Bench Native Court on the treaty ground, grounds next to the British Ship of Admiralty Flag Mast Jurisdiction is enforceable now. We enforced it on the 15th of um, April 2016 this year inside that Marae. We went in there with King Itauru, Chief, then Lord Rink Chief of that land. He wants his land back. Okay, I told him this is how you get your land back. So we made the first legal move, legitimate move, by going in that marae on that day with Paul Tipene, police witness, and Mari Rafana, Rafara, Rafana, from the Waitangi National Trust Committee inside that party to witness what I was saying with those Tomata and Pohepa um, Epiha and Willie Pater, those two, and some, uh, the deputy of the Maori government, uh, Georgie Joel and Alfred Mitchell and um, N uh, Nelson Pater and um, a few others, okay, and Jamie and Ma, and myself, okay. So that's that's telling you this bit about we enforce those this flag. The pound note, levy debt instrument, the 970 million trillion trillion pound note, okay, into debtor. That's what John Key will get from me, the sheriff. Okay, I'm appointed sheriff and King William surrogate. Okay, to speak for the king. Okay, I'm speaking for the king. I'm not exactly the king, but I'm nominating the king, Minister Augustus, into the throne to take out the queen fraudulent with Obama and Clinton and all the thugs and pirates. This flag is meant to be for this Pope pirates flag to that interferes or tampers with our information. Okay? So then we go on. Maori have the legal right entitlement to represent to be represented equally alongside a magistrate in every court in the land. This is what we're doing. We're extending that Marae jurisdiction into all the marais and the courthouses in New Zealand, the district courthouse in New Zealand, from there. Okay? So
So I've just picked out this from uh, tamatafenua.com site uh, that um, has that Tino Ranga Teratanga or Te Iwi Māori, Māori Sovereignty in the 21st Century article that I'm taking extracts from it and turning it back into Maui. They can carry on with that in Te Ture Whenua and the incorporations. They look after the land. We look after the British side of the contract. They look after the 1% that John Keyes paid them out, uh, the Maori iwis and the hapus, and the 99% is who I'm looking out on in Britain, that I'm setting up with the British um, partnership with Matt Taylor and um, um, Jackie Little Gordon in Scotland, where the Manukau land titles are in, uh, in Scotland, uh, Manukau Land Company, limited company that sold it land in the first place. Okay? You got it? Right. <coughs> That's why we're going to Scotland. <coughs> so, this article, I'll just put onto my Facebook just now, I'm fastening it into documents under the Moai Crown King William Trust. Okay? We've got the Queen Victoria Trust and the King uh, Moai Crown King William Trust to seize on the Queen Victoria Trust back into the King's Bench Court, London, and here in that Marae. Okay, you got that, you people watching? I'm making these videos for that because I've got to do it uh, for the sake of mankind to where the goal's supposed to go to the people we say it goes to, not Karen Hudes or the King of Spain, King Philippi. It's not up to him. That's not his goal. Not his gold, the 400 tons there out of a million metric tons of gold that Karen Hudes, uh, ex uh, lawyer for the World Bank, um, uh, is stating that uh, the missing gold from New York when that 9 11 blew the place up and they stole that lot. This is the pirates that we're going after with this flag, people. This flag will catch the mouse because it is a higher admiralty of all admiralty in the world. This is the king's flag, Dorian. Okay, you got that? Out of all the flags in the world, this is the king's flag in Westminster. Given to us, hidden quite conveniently here, because it was safe here, and then the queen has done her dash, and she's caught now. She's caught, and we're seizing everything off her, and giving her the 970 million trillion trillion pound note, the green one, that covers all the fraud that this flag has been usurped for under her head of monarch. Okay, it's fraudulent scone coronation. It's not real. Okay, so now that uh, I've got that far, tangatafenua.com is the site to see uh, on Facebook, on our site. So we are taking that as being um, legal. Everything admiral is legal, right? It's not to be real, like a native court title. Uh, and the Maori side I leave in Te Ti Marae, and it's not to be mixed with what I select as a King's Bench Court Sheriff and Surrogate King to speak who goes to Westminster. That's my job. Okay? It's not for anybody to say because they haven't got the title. You must have the original Manukau title, the Ututonga title at Waitangi, over all those land blocks, and the Manukau title to Auckland and the rest of the country and Chatham Islands. <coughs> Moriori. <coughs> got that? I'm talking Maui and Jim Wikotu or Tupi. Jim Wikotu from Matatua is talking the Maui spiritual side in Maori language. Okay, I'm talking English, straight English, on the documents and the instruments of financial martial law inside this flag onto John Key and all his corporate thugs and agents of the Crown Corporation under the Queen's head. Okay, not under the King's bench head, but the Queen's bench head. Okay, here we go. I'll just carry on. These acts were passed into English law by 
the Parliament of Westminster and are still legally binding the New Zealand Settlers Parliament today. The 1986 New Zealand Constitution Act passed by the fourth Labour government has no power to remove any statutory law passed by another government. Where those acts may not seem to exist in New Zealand law, and that is debatable, they still exist in British law and are still legally binding in New Zealand. These are the laws I'm talking about here. In the 1830 to 1837 Acts of Westminster Parliament under King William IV applies. That's what we passed in that Waitangi Marae, <coughs> King French Court on the 15th of April 2016 this year. We passed those acts. We can use those acts today. It's nobody's business. It's private mortgage, land and levy instruments. That belongs to us and the British Navy and British military, our protectorate, business partners and Westminster government. The new Brexit Westminster government with us in there installed as the NATO partnership. Altea New Zealand Pacific Islands with England and Wales and if Ireland comes back then Ireland but at the moment we're making way to go into that to replace the Muslims in our contract they are tampering with our contract this is the receipt of our contract between us and the King of England King of Britain King of Scotland King of Ireland King of New Zealand and King of <coughs> Hanover. Okay, so that's what I'm saying. I'm talking straight to the king to put another legitimate, legitimate legal king in, King Ernest Augustus I. Okay, right. Now we go down a bit more. Uh, the West, uh, the Westminster Parliament UK is legally bound to active activate the standing orders of Lord Clinic. Lord Clinic to Major Burke and the letters patent issued, patent issued by Lord Normandy in defence of Maori sovereign rights, the Crown Region. That's in Te Marae under the Confederation of Chiefs 1835 Declaration of Independence jurisdiction, not our jurisdiction. So they're fighting with John Key in the Te Marae. We're not fighting on the other side in Waitangi Marae. We're taking control and let them run their business in Te Turi Whenua at the present, but we'll overrule them and they can't get past any uh, acts without our consent. Okay? So Westminster Parliament UK is legally bound to activate the standing orders, oh, I've been through that, in the common law case of Mira Baker versus Tamaki, the presiding judge, Lord Davies, decreed that the Crown lacked unrevealable provocative power in relation to the native titles and that a Crown grant did not amount to extinguishment of native titles. The land is still there. They can't take the land. It's only the instruments they are using as <coughs> mortgage levy instruments to make money <coughs> or borrow money from a bank. The Moai financial position today. So I've gone and re... Uh, re uh, or change the format of Maori into Moai, okay? For our benefit to put the native side right. The trustees of, hang on. <coughs> Moai Crown Sheriff, New Zealand Prime Minister John Key, take notice. Okay, take notice, John Key, on this video. The Moai financial position today, the trustees of the world's biggest bank are Prince Andrew of England and King Yuan Colos and Queen Sophia of Spain. Queen Elizabeth is the head of the, that trust, the Queen Victoria Trust. Here is Jamie Anna Marie, the 1844 Queen Victoria Trust. The 1840, 1844 Queen Victoria Trust set up an account whereby the New Zealand government would pay taxes to the Queen for the right to occupy New Zealand. Because they could not afford to pay the taxes, uh, 
uh, Governor Fitzroy waived the preemption clause to raise the funds by selling land on the open market in breach of Article 3 of the Treaty of Waitangi. He's not supposed to sell the land. <coughs> and he broke that rule first. Fraudulent land sales from New South Wales, Australian New, New Zealand government in exile, Vice Admiral versus King William IV Admiral in the Waitangi Marae King's Bench Native Court and the British UK Government Navy shipmast in the paddock next to the Waitangi Marae Courthouse. So I'm saying this, that <coughs> we are taking stock of the Queen Victoria Trust as of the 6th of February 2017 inside that marae to claim the gold, the 1 million metric tons of gold that is missing from our trust in Westminster. Right. Okay? That's what we're going after. We are claiming it. It doesn't matter how long it takes because it's a private contract with us. We haven't done anything about it. It's nobody's business to inquire into trusts. That's our trust and nobody's business. They should have notified us, the, tr the beneficiaries of that trust. The chiefs, the real chiefs, not the Iwi Maori, in the Confederation of Chiefs through the Australian New South Wales and John Keyes government, but direct from Britain to us in this live contract, people. This is a live contract. It's still alive, 182 years live this year. Okay, it's Kororareka, Russell. 20th of March, 1834, King, uh, King William IV, HM ship, HMS ship Fortitude, and Captain Clendon proclaimed the land belongs to the King. That title is what we have jurisdiction over this whole land and all the other native lands in the world that came under that title. Okay? This applies to all you indigenous lands in the world. Hear what I'm saying. The account was known as the Akaroa Bank. At that time, the Queen deposits funds paid to her by the New Zealand Settlers Government in Wellington here for the right of occupation. It's the occupation title that I'm seizing as the Sheriff of John Key on the 6th of February 2017 and we send it back into the King's Bench Court in that marae to Westminster King's Bench Court in the Rolls Building, Peter Lane, London. Okay, I'm doing all this work with the Whakamininga Chiefs that I choose on the jury of six to ten original surnames and the Chiefs Native Court Judges that I've named myself and Jamie, and Kingi Taurua, and one other, one other, okay, um, that I choose. Akaroa Bank, right? The account was known as the Akaroa Bank. The Queen deposits funds paid, oh, I better see Jamie, hang on, just hold on a sec, I just want to catch her.
there, I just left a message with Janie because we're working together now. She's spending a bit more time on Facebook because she's been busy with her kids, but it looks certainly looks like she'll have to spend more time um, in helping uh, matters to her St. Patrick's order family name. Okay? She has more right to it than those Spanish people, believe it or not, in that Irish city. We're going to get it back and put it back into Westminster Parliament. And King Ernest Augustus will do that. He'll, he'll seize that back, the eight-point star title under his king, not King Philip of Spain. They are, they're, they're defrauded with the Queen. They've defrauded our trust, the Queen Victoria Trust, and took it out of Britain into there and hit the goal, the million tons of gold we're going after. <coughs> there she is. She's just that nice. So there we are, I just made a video with just telling her uh, what I'm doing at the present time, is uh, explaining things, how this works. Am I expected to do a presentation of some sort? No, you don't have to. So, F2, two, two, and presentation. Jamie's very good. She she keeps up right behind me, and is very thorough when it comes to law. She's very good with law, and just like myself, <coughs> the Cosgrove family, Irish, are lawyers. And the Rogan family, in my family, that married the Wanoa, Oraiti Wanoa, and married Mariah Manukau, are uh, the judges in the courts, so you can see why I'm like that in law and order when it comes to land titles and jurisdiction of admiralty and instruments of title. So there we are, I've just put some things uh, on for her to um, get excited about and so I'll just continue a bit more on this um, what I've been writing in this article um, for public awareness and notice. Public notice. The King and... Oh, hang on. The, this account, the Queen Victoria Trust, was known as Akaroa Bank. That's where all that money went. That's where the gold started, the Akaroa Bank. It changed, it didn't change into the BNZ Bank, it went from the Akaroa Bank into the League of Nations, and then into the United Nations, and then into the World Bank. That World Bank is our title, Karen Lourdes, and you, Donald Trump, that's my business with my Whakamininga chiefs here in New Zealand, in the Queen's business, inside that Waitangi Marae native court. For all the native courts in the world, your authority comes under the flag inside that Marae to all your native Marae
rise or place of law. Okay, place of law, this law shall apply from Britain and from New Zealand, the centre of the universe of commercial contracts. Okay, commercial contract flag of a king, the only one in the world, and a bank flag at that. Okay, you ship things around the world, you ship all the gold around the world with this flag. There's no other king flag that can do that. Okay, so here we go. Akaro Bank changed to League of Nations, changed to the World Bank, Swiss Indo to New World Order, New World Order, Black Pope. Jesuit and Queen Elizabeth II Jesuit fraudsters. There, I'm just telling you. They're fraudsters. The King, and that's what Obama and Clinton were hoping to do so that they can go and steal everything with the Queen. The Queen is a baboon, uh, racketeering, uh, thug, pirate, operating her business in America, she says she owns, and 66 million acres of land here in New Zealand. That she says she owns. She does not own. The king owns. Okay, that's what I'm saying. Grab the king, the flag, and the ship, and you're done. And the marae. Kingy, Toto, you listening? That's what I'm saying. Grab the ship, the king, the flag, and the marae statue, and the marae. King's Bench Court. And that's the title. Okay, got it? The king and queen of Spain abdicated to their son, Philippi. King Philippi the fifth, the sixth, Leticia, his wife, third party, they are third parties to the Maui Crown King William Fourth Admiralty Mortgage Lien Levy Private Contract, Queen Victoria Trust. They are third parties between us and Queen Victoria, right? King William and his niece Queen Victoria is this way. And that's the principle stakeholders in that trust, right? We are still there. We haven't severed any connection between us and Queen Victoria. Okay? So Kingy is a direct bloodline higher than Prince or King Philippi and his wife, the Queen of Spain, higher than him as native bloodline with his Ed, King Edward and Queen Victoria blood in him. That's his. Okay? And Jamie has the St. Patrick, or the Patrick family of Dublin, blood in her to native Maui. Okay, and me, native Maui, <coughs> to Cosgrove Irish bloodline in Dublin. We come from there on that side. You came to us. We didn't go to you. Now we're going to you to put the record straight and boot the Queen out and her royal family of thugs. Okay, you got that? <coughs> king, the King and Queen of Spain abdicated to their son Philippi, King Philippi the Sixth, uh, as third party to Moai Crown King William the Fourth Admiralty Mortgage Lien Levy Private Contract Queen Victoria Trust. Note this statement, Jamie Anna Marie Patrick, your Patrick surname Irish. St. Patrick, Eight Point Star Church in Dublin to Westminster Parliament, UK, King William III Monarchy Reign, St. Patrick's title. There. That's that. So we've got live people. Live people. And King Ernest Augustus, the fifth live king. And King uh, and Chief King Itodo, live chief, coming to Westminster. Right? They're all natives. Notice your eight-point star of St. Patrick's Church order is stuck on the Spaniard who is not an Irish bloodstock like your surname Patrick. He's wearing your own St. Patrick Church name brand and holding the gold belonging to our Maui King William IV Admiralty Financial Martial Law Jurisdiction and Authority as not a trustee. Oh, it's already in. 
in Victoria Trust. Um, Edward Marshall Law uh, and Authority as not a trustee. He's not a trustee of our Whakaminina Chiefs Queen Victoria Trust Admiralty Mortgage Levy Creditor Commercial Private Contract. He's not in our contract. Right? That's for the British to sort out. The New Zealand Settlers Government still pay taxes to the British Crown, which are deposited in the London branch of the BNZ before being transferred to the Akaroa Bank. See, the money's being collected here in the BNZ with John Key, then goes into the Akaroa Bank. Right? Um, that's our bank, the Akaroa Bank. My Crown King William IV Trust, Whakamini, 20th of March 1834, printed and title, an eight point star flag of Admiralty jurisdiction with the Manukau land titles, Auckland, is now taking over this Akaroa World Bank as its head trustee of this man wearing our we're wearing four of our brand name St. Patrick Church Order eight point star flag and he's not an Irish blood next to myself, Irish Tahitian Moai Wanoa and Cosgrove marriage surname and Jamie Anna Marie Patrick Stewart Moai Tahitian Irish Ngātai and Patrick marriage surnames direct claims to this eight point St. Patrick's Church in Dublin, Ireland. Note that he is wearing four stars that are on our King William IV flag of Admiralty, four corners of the globe, and he's not a trustee appointed by Queen Victoria Monarch. There, look at that. Okay, you got that? So Jamie, Anna Marie, and I, John Wanoa, are going with the Whakamininga Chiefs from Waitangi Marae King's Bench Native Court to Westminster Parliament to claim our trust, Queen Victoria Trust, and all its wealth revenue back into the My Crown King's Bench Court in the Rolls Building, Fetterlane, London, after Waitangi Day, 6 February 2017. I'm making this statement. Oh, there's Sam uh, answering. Uh, 2017. The de delegation of 13 plus security goes to Westminster Parliament to claim our title and replace Queen Elizabeth two as head trustee of our Queen Victoria Trust. And the three trustees oh Jamie's now. I'll just go and see what she's saying. So that's Jamie, I just I forgot about the video running. Uh, so I, this, we've been doing this for a long time, uh, about five years, six years, on Facebook. So we've got a, a good spread of uh, information about who we are and what, what we're about to do uh, to claim our titles uh, with the chiefs and Matatua and um, the Whakaminia, especially the Whakaminia because they are the contract holders of the flag, but the business of the banks are here in Auckland and with the Manukau land title, okay, straight to Glasgow, we're going there, Jamie and I will go to Glasgow to check it and meet Jackie Little Gordon and their family, uh, working with me on Skype uh, all the time, uh, face to face in their house, in my house, uh, so we're putting that titles together with this land title to seize it all and put it back into the British Manukau titles um, uh, at that time of Cornwallis at the Manukau Heads, uh, 1840 there. Those titles that were put there by Captain William, Simon, um, so, uh, Captain William, uh, Simon, um, at that time. Okay, when he landed, he proclaimed the land belonged to the king. <coughs> okay, <coughs> so now we go down to, so Jamie, Anna Marie and I are going with the Whakamininga, I'll tell you that. 
Uh, take notice, Jamie, Anna Marie, Matt Taylor, and Jackie Little Gordon, John Manor, my Crown King William IV Trust administrators shall seize on the lease monies paid to the Crown on behalf of the other 74 Commonwealth countries. Right? Did you get that? There's 74 Commonwealth countries sucking on this flag of Admiralty inside that Waitangi Marae King's Bench Court. And John Key and all the Governor Generals right back to 1852, the Queen Elizabeth took over, and before that, right back to 1837, Queen Victoria took over from King William IV. Monarch, his niece, okay, from right back then, all of that and those 74, <coughs> 74 countries come under this flag, including Canada, America, Australia, India, Africa, Pacific Islands, New Zealand, and the rest of the 72 countries, 74 countries. So there, that's just telling you this flag is very powerful when it comes to jurisdiction of Admiralty, how you got on those lands through a king, not the queen, through the king of England and Britain, UK. Okay, so um, here we go. Uh, take notice, I'll say that. My, uh, take notice, Jamie and Anna Marie and Matt Taylor and Jackie Little Gordon, John Wanoa, my Crown King William IV administrators, shall seize on the lease monies paid to the Crown on behalf of the other 74 Commonwealth countries are also deposited into the fund with the British Government, Navy, Ma Admiralty and British UK military. So it, that's our partners. Our partners is the Navy, British Navy, and the military. You wonder why they weren't invited to John Key's 75-year Navy, use the Navy celebrations. How ignorant of you, John Key. You get the bill. You get the bill. And the British will be here at Rangitukia on the Haho 7B block to set up all the infrastructure for the whole Pacific Islands, of the whole Pacific, from there. Okay, you got that? And I believe it will be the Russians uh, and Iran and Chinese in that mix with Britain and America, the new America with all the swamp rats kicked out of there and kicked out of Westminster. All the swamp rats gone out of the British and chucked into the EU Parliament in Brussels. They can have all that lot over there, all the thugs and the pirates, and they get a bill from this, the 970 million trillion trillion pound. I'll put it on there with these articles today. Okay? You got that? Kingy, did you get that? You listen. You listen up. You got your place. You know what I said. Now, Hohip is pretty good. He's looking after those tomata. Thank you, Hohip, for giving me more than five minutes to do my presentation. Good on you. But I'll follow what you're saying now. And with the uh, uh, Willie Pater up at Firinaki on Modi Marae, um, I'll be there to go through this, but you can see before I get there, you already know, and just ask answer questions, any questions you ask, anything, I'll answer the lot, okay? So what kings are for, but I'm not exactly a king, but I'm talking for one, okay? <clears throat> Don't profess to be a king, but I'll sound like one, and act like one, until Venus Augustus is in. You're going to put him in, or Hipper, you guys are going to nominate him and to keep our flag going, because we can't have Prince William, we can't have him at all under those bloodlines, under King George VI. We can't have Queen Elizabeth anywhere near this in that marae. Okay, that's on this other Titi marae. They can stay there. They can battle it out, what you like, and leave John Key to run his government into the ground. Okay, they'll, they'll stay there till they're gone. They'll give you plenty of time to set up your own government, Maori government, whatever, call it what you like. We have a Moai crown, King William IV, Federal State, Commonwealth Government of the World, sitting dual government right now, inside that marae, on documents, ready to enforce when we get there. But I'm meaning up, that's your call <coughs> from here to there, and my call there with the British around the world. It's got to go from there around the world, not here. It goes from there, with the British um, control of the King William, Queen Victoria, 
kast van dingen. Oké, oké, is dat het? Right, yeah. The interest is administered by the Reserve Bank of New Zealand and used by the New Zealand government. How many minutes is that? 50 minutes. It's about an hour there. I'll stop it on an hour. I'll stop this on an hour. The interest is. I'll, I'll make another nice video later when I get everything together. The interest is administered by the Reserve Bank of New Zealand and used by the New Zealand government to support this country's infrastructure. It is Maori money that supports the New Zealand economy. No. The boot here is said to be worth approximately twenty trillion dollars US. It's more than that, but that's what that's what the Maoris are saying. That's the Maori um, claim. The Maori claim is nine hundred and seventy million trillion trillion. Right, you got that? That's the difference between Maui, straight up, with Britain, our partner, who sees on everything that's gone missing out of this economic flag. Okay? That's what makes all the money, this flag. It's a money flag. <coughs> all indigenous peoples in the Pacific region are covered under the Maui sovereignty, under the terms of the British government, King of England, Ernest Gus elect. King of England elect King Ernest Augustus V, age 68, and his son, Prince Regent Ernest Augustus, age 38. And partnership between Maui and the kings, King William the Fourth Crown, all indigenous people of the Pacific are sovereign in their own right. Maui shall take over, take their rightful place in the great society of nations, assert their sovereignty, shall begin to address the words, the world's problems, especially those being traced by the people, faced by the people of the Pacific from the 6th of February 2017, shall take effect, take illegal, legal effect under the 1834 Whakaputanga flag of King William IV Admiralty Financial Martial Law Jurisdiction. There we go. The financial martial juris, the financial, the financial admiralty, financial martial law jurisdiction is force, force the money, the land, everything off you. Uh, so Jamie just um, uh, replied again. So uh, that's all I'm going to read for now. I'll, I'll make a better one later because I've had a, a bit of interference in this video. So that's uh, uh, some idea of what I'm putting together at the moment. I've only got till the third, uh, next Wednesday, to get all this to take the presentation up in Taranaki uh, to the uh, Whakaminia and the Taumata there. <coughs> I'll put on the presentation for this. Thank you very much, people. Have a nice day. We'll see you later. No, I have the, the drone at the back here. That's my little drone uh, to keep me...